How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Invasion, Episode 6. We are a little more than halfway there. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to start off this episode with Anisha and her children, or child, because one of them is gone. For some reason, we decided to uh, set out on this search party in the middle of this dense, dense fog. That's when we decided to go after this little girl. In the middle of a, a just ridiculous, overwhelming, crippling fog. Yeah, let's go. We can't see anything. Let's, let's do this. So we're traveling down the road, and then all of a sudden we get attacked by these blue aliens. And then they would have you believe that these trucks are moving at incredible speeds when they get caught by these blue aliens as you hear the engines revving up, but they are actually going nowhere. They're, they're actually going so slow that I can catch them on foot. So somewhere out there in the mist are the aliens who just attacked this convoy, but are waiting for some reason to finish off the humans. So the plan is we're going to take these miscreants and we're going to go bust into a military base, a base, and steal this little girl back. That's the plan. That is the plan. Come on, come on, man. That, that's the plan. We're going to go bust into a military pace, place with a ton of military personnel to attack them and get her back or, or sneak in or something. You're not going to do it. You're going to die. You're going to die. As a matter of fact, most of you have died on this road trying to get to that little girl. I don't understand, like, like, somebody has to have some sense in this group and be like, no, we ain't going. We're not going. We're not going to make it. We're all going to die. Die, and that's if, that's if we get there. Ugh. They just blindly walked into this. And it, it, it did, they didn't have to. Like, they took women and children and everything. Like, yeah, saddle up. We're going to go get this little girl. Everybody cool? Cool. In doing so, they find out the little boy has some sort of control over the aliens, which I'm sure they'll, they'll explore at a later date. More, pres more pressing question, right? Anisha still has the goddamn shard. She still has a shard. She still has not given it up. She still has not used it. She still has not given it to the group. And it kills aliens. No one has asked her to produce this shard yet. No one. Oh, it kills aliens? Word. Cool. Uh, we should we should go. Nah, I don't, you don't have to worry about getting that. What are you do? What are we doing here? It kills aliens, and she still has not pulled it out. Your son almost died. Still haven't used it. You know what they keep pulling out though? Automatic weapons and Glocks. You know what doesn't work? Automatic weapons and Glocks. They just keep shooting at these things and they don't work. And they keep pulling them. Don't shoot. Don't, don't, you're damn right don't shoot. It's, it's not going to do anything but piss it off. Okay, can you sell some of these and go get a, a book of matches or something? Something that we, we knew used to work? So, anything. We're going to move on from Anisha and her silly group. And we're going to go to, what's that little girl's name? Jamila. Jamila is, is boring. Jamila and her group are born. They still bonding. Episode six, and they are still bonding and apologizing and shit. They go to rich kids, mom, dad's, uh, smash pad, where he been he been apparently cheating on his on his wife, or whatever, and and they go there and and they 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 again they apologizing to, to each other and talking about what they're gonna do. Move this shit along. Move it along. Let's go! And then we move to Mitsuki, who is still, still talking to this alien in episode six. She started talking to it in episode one. I, I cannot, I cannot believe this. She's still talking to the aliens in episode one. There's not much of a story here to talk about because everyone is still doing the same shit they were doing in episode one. In episode one? It's episode six, and the only thing that has happened. Let, oh. let, let, I'm, I'm, forget this story. This, this story is stupid. Like you, you saw what happened. Mitsuki is is still talking to the alien, and she stuck her hand in it, and and, and, it, and it touched her face, and it was her her ex girlfriend, but only as a little girl. Do you know why she was a little girl? Because 
the actress was like, the hell with this. I'm not coming back to do this mess. So they had to get a little girl to stand in, to take her place, and be like, yo. Which is creepy because she's little. She's little. Like, that would be... That would be like if, if, if your girlfriend or your wife saw you as a little boy and was like, oh, hey, I missed you. Let's think about what they have done so far in, in, this, in this series up to episode six, right? We'll, we'll just run it down, okay? Trevante left his home and has walked or, or driven to Oklahoma to find what was, what was on the notepad, right? He found, he found it. He, he's still in the same spot he was in the beginning of episode or, or the first episode of this series. He's still walking around. He hadn't found shit, nothing. So he's been in prison, but he's got a friend that goes with him now. Cool, let's go to Mitsuki. Mitsuki ended up in this, this, this science lab where she's been since episode one. Still doing the same thing she was doing in episode one, talking to Lightbright, trying to figure out what in the hell is going on with the aliens, right? She, she blew up the ships. I didn't even know we're there. And apparently it had no bearing on the show because they're still in the same spot as they were before they blew up the alien spaceships. Jamila. Jamila left home in episode one to go find Casper. She is still walking. She found Casper. They still have no plan. She met buddies along the way and she just took people with her to go find Casper. Still doing the same shit she was doing in episode one, Anisha. Anisha found a group of people as she was traveling, running from the military in episode one. She's still running from the military in epi from episode one of season two, only she's lost a child, but gained a group of friends. She's still doing the same shit. No one is doing anything different. No one. Everyone's still doing the same goddamn thing. They have not advanced this plot in any way, shape, or form, and they're still talking about Mitsuki's goddamn girlfriend. My God, it's episode six. Put a bow on this bitch, and let's move on to something else. This is turning into a rant, and I apologize, but I, I can't, I can't. I'm talking to you, writers. What the hell are you doing? Let, let's look at this from a different vantage point, right? Forget the humans. Forget the humans for a second. Let's look at this from an alien's perspective. Is this your first invasion? Like, how, uh, how, have you not done this before? Do you have an instruction booklet on how to, call, how to invade places? Or, or steps one, two, three? Because this is bullshit. Like, this is not how you invade anything. Nothing. Right? Is step one, take your sweet ass time. Is that what the first line says? The alien ship showed up at the end of episode, or at the end of season one, right? You just knew all hell was about to break loose. Instead, what you get is you get pointy aliens just, just, I don't even know what you call them. They don't even look like aliens. They just look like, they look like dirty raisins with, with horns. They just, they're in random non-people places doing, I don't know what, I don't know if they're setting up ambushes for people that ain't coming. But it doesn't make any sense what they're doing. It makes no sense. Like, when Anisha's kid was taken, they were taken in a, a quarry somewhere where there are no people. Why were there so many aliens in a, in, in a non-human area? In, in a quarry. What are they doing there? What are they doing there? In this episode, in episode six, the aliens are pods are in the woods there are no people out there what the what are you doing who taught you how to invade anisha has the shard team pulled that bitch out once not one time not even to save her own life or child she just walks around oh she got it in a suitcase somewhere or something i don't know what she's doing but it's a joke at this point and then they sat in the car she sat in the car with her son and he explains to a strange girl he just met why he has the why he has the shard in the first place and his mother is shocked because she ain't asked none of these goddamn questions and she knew that the shard affected him how have you not asked your son hey son how does how does this make you feel does this affect you in any way are you okay 
do you do you need this thing? What should we do with it? You didn't ask any of those goddamn questions. You didn't even ask him how he's feeling. You don't you don't even care, son. You 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 sick? You you gotta you gotta. Is there an issue? You you want to talk to mommy about it? You are a bad parent, a bad mother. Maya and uh, 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 Mitsuki's doctor. It's clear she just she just wants to bust draws with her. Just say it already. Stop beating around the bush and 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 asking her questions about her girlfriend when you're trying to get a baseline on how she feels. When you just want to send her back in a thing. Stop trying to pull her out of the matrix. She's trying to figure out how to save lives. For fuck's sake, just it just it doesn't make any sense. Will you just shut up, Doc, and just let her do? Whatever it is she's gonna do, so we can just get on with dying or 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 saving lives or something, preferably dying. So this ends in like episode seven or eight, and it probably won't, cause the aliens don't know what the hell they're doing. Time after time after time, nothing makes sense in this show. Why is anyone following Anisha? Why is this group who doesn't even know her give a shit about Anisha? Why? Why does anyone give a shit about her stupid kid? Why? Why, why did the military come up and take her out of a car in, in the middle of a firefight? Well, who does that? Why, why would they do that? I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. The sheriff is not dead. And Anisha's dumbass husband ain't dead. Okay? Her husband ain't dead neither. And he's going to pop up out of nowhere, probably playing games with his little girl. Like, hey, what's up? Been waiting for you to get here all this time. Because this show is like that. Okay, this show is going to end stupidly. You mark my words, I promise you, it's going to end so dumb, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. So, I appreciate y'all hanging out. Like, share, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And let me know your thoughts, man, because I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to keep blasting the show. I'm going to keep blasting the show. Nothing makes sense. So, I love y'all. I'll see y'all for the next one. All right?